A very good afternoon. I just want to welcome you all to Beautiful Ashes. This is another day all together. We are so thankful to God for our 30 days of great power and glory. And we are believing that our lives are never going to remain the same. As listeners, you out there, even as a ministry, Beautiful Ashes, our lives are changing completely in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Stella Azamadia, taking you through this hour. Those of you who are listening in, if you can just go to our Facebook page that is Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia, we are streaming live. Be blessed as you listen into Beautiful Ashes today in your homes, in your vehicles, at your places of work. I just want to welcome you all to Beautiful Ashes, the listeners program made possible by the grace of God, friends, members, and listeners who are the kingdom financers. It's good to have you listening in this wonderful afternoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. And today we have a great man of God I've known for a couple of years. Hallelujah, Jesus. Pastor Arthur Otim, you are most welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's so good to have you. He's a lead pastor, Seta Miracle Center, and he's married to my OG. She was classes higher than me. You know, those people, when in school, she used to put on a green skirt in HSC, and for us, we're in all level. We had, we had to jump off the pavement for HSCs to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes, it's good to have you, Pastor Arthur. Thank you, it's an honor to be here. We thank God for the privilege. Amen. To, it's always a privilege to serve the Lord. Amen. And to share His Word. So, thank you for having me. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, people at church, uh, there's a lady at church, she always puts you on, the, on her radio. Mm. And she makes sure everybody <laughs> can hear. Uh, Stella saying, praise Jesus, hallelujah, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited to be here. And I told them I'd be on this program. Mm. So uh, my people there in Seta, I salute you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm on this program, Beauty for Ashes. Yes. Am I still greeting people? I can start. Please <laughs> start. The floor is yours. Yeah, I thank God for... Uh, Apostle Stella, she's a great woman of God, and we've known each other for many years. Uh, these are the big brothers. And many <laughs> years since, <laughs> since, uh, since the youth ministry mm. in YDM, and hey, it's been like how many years is this now? Over 20 years. About 20 years. Mm, over. And look at her, she's just growing younger and younger. But we thank God, it's the <laughs> grace of the Lord Amen. that is upon her life. Amen. And we bless God for that. So Amen. I'm excited to be here. And it's day number 10 of our 30 days of great power and glory. Wow, this is power. This mm. is fire. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bless God for this. I, there was something that was laid, uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit laid upon my heart. I think in these last couple of uh, weeks or one or two weeks mm. that I've been sharing on, which I believe will be uh, a great blessing. Mm. Uh, there's a scripture that I found in, I think, in the book of Haggai, mm. in the book of Haggai, and uh, talking about the glory of God, because Amen. the Bible says the glory of the latter house Amen. shall be greater than the glory of the former house. So Amen. there's something I saw in the book of Haggai that shocked me which I believe that will be a blessing to you. You know, there are all kinds of glory. Mm. There is the Shekinah glory of God, the one we mostly talk about, which is the you know divine presence of the Lord. Mm. When he comes down and no nobody can stand. The Bible says when they were dedicating the temple, the glory of God came down and nobody could stand. Amen. That's what they call the Shekinah glory. But then there is another glory I saw, which I believe that the church needs to walk in, Amen. in the book of Haggai chapter 2 and verse number 3. And the Bible says this was the time that Haggai was prophesying. And they were prophe Haggai and Zechariah were prophesying about rebuilding the temple of God, which had been destroyed because the children of Israel had been taken into captivity. And in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 3, the Bible says, Who's left among you that saw this house in her first glory? This is the house that Solomon built, King Solomon mm. built, beautiful house. Uh, and how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? When Solomon built that temple, it was worth a lot of money. Mm. The gold, without counting the other material, cement and bricks used to build the house, the gold, silver that was used to build the house, when they calculated it in today's time, it came to almost $200 million. Wow. That was the, the, the temple that Solomon built. Wow. 
and this is over 3,000 years ago. Mm. Okay? And uh, verse number 7, when you got verse number 7, and the Lord says, I will shake all nations, mm -hmm. and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, Amen. saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. And then he says, this is the part people need to get. Then he says in verse number 8, the silver is mine, and the gold is mine, Amen. says the Lord. Okay? Amen. I mean, he's talking about glory. Then he says, the silver is mine. And the gold is mine. Mm. And the glory of the latter house Amen. shall be greater than the glory of the former house. Amen. So the glory that God wants to visit the church with in these last days is the glory of gold and silver. Hallelujah, Jesus. I wish I could hear a loud amen. Amen. I can't hear you from there because you amen. are down there. Amen. The glory... <laughs> This is the glory that God wants to reveal to the church Amen. in these days. Amen. They did a study and they said in the church today, there are probably about averagely 8% people, eight, only 8% 8 of believers that are tithers. Wow. That's why the glory have not come. Wow. Just 8%, you know. I, I always tell myself that what if we just had 50% of people that come to church? 50% of people that 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 make money and they give their 10% to God how much how much glory would be in the church mm. you know people can sometimes speak one or two people that look to have made it and you know maybe drive a big car or whatever and then they use it to trash the entire body of Christ but where i pastor you find a majority of ministries are not doing very well the glory is not there you know and God wants to restore that glory Amen. back to the church. Hallelujah. And I read a, I read another scripture in the in the book of um, in the book of Jonah. Okay? In the book of Jonah. I hope I hope the people of beautiful ashes are comfortable with my message. If you are not comfortable with money, you are you are, you are comfortable with poverty. You should be very comfortable talking about money in the church and anywhere. You want to say something? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you stop me anytime you feel like, hey, pastor, you, you please leave us alone. Eh? <laughs> you know, if you're not comfortable to talk about money, you're not comfortable. You're, you're comfortable with poverty. Mm -hmm. And poverty is a devil. It's, 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 it's a sin against the Lord. Because the Bible says silver and gold belongs to you. Amen. Don't feel guilty. When a lot of money is coming to you, okay? Because it brings glory to God. Mm. Sometimes the, the, the Bible talks about a man in, in, in Ecclesiastes. And the scripture says that this man was a poor, wise man. man. And the scripture says that he saved a city by his wisdom. Mm -hmm. But nobody Remember. remembered that poor, same wise man. That's that. So I, I, you should hate poverty because when poverty is there, your voice cannot be heard. Even when you give sound wisdom, people will claim it is somebody else. True. They cannot credit you for what you have done. I pray that you will hate poverty because the glory that God wants to release in the last times is also the glory of gold and the glory of silver. Amen. You know, we are in a lockdown right now. Churches are not being able to gather. So the people, the way people are able to access, I was speaking to somebody, we always told him, get a smartphone, get a smartphone. <laughs> and so he called me the other day. I said, Pastor, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are not reaching to us. I said, you man, I am on every blessed day. I am preaching online. I said, you need to get a smartphone. Mm -hmm. you, you hear what I'm telling you? So some people... You may get stuck in the past and then you miss out on what God is doing. True. Okay, So this is the glory that, wants to release, uh, that God wants to release upon the church. Now listen to the book of Joel chapter 1. Joel chapter 1. This is a scenario which is terrible. And I pray that nobody, nobody will go through this in their life. The Bible says uh, uh, in verse number 4 of Joel. These are the minor prophets. He said that which the palmer worm have left the locust have eaten mm. okay we're talking about locusts that came into the country and everybody's worried about the locust you know but before the locust came the bible says the palmer worm came and ate 
Then the locusts come. And you know, locusts, when they land on, a, they, they come, they are so wide. You're talking about something that is like 40 miles wide and is another 40 miles, you know, like 40, over 40. I mean, a very big, they, they land on a football field and they feast on the green grass. And when they lift off like this, you only find dust on the ground. They eat every green living thing. They are very destructive. And yet the Bible says that what the locusts have left, you know, they leave nothing. No green thing remains. But yet what the locusts have left, what has happened? The kankawam has eaten. It's like they, now they begin to eat. They, they, and then even the, the kankawam eats and he says that what it has left, the caterpillar will also come and collect. Mm -hmm. Basically left for nothing, left for dead, finished, kaput, everything, no trace of it anywhere at all. You know, I was uh, I was uh, talking to somebody, and uh, he was a border border rider, mm. and in the uh, while he was rushing to beat the curfew, he knocked a child. Oh. Okay, and when he knocked the child, the child fell down, and when the child fell down, the child lost two teeth. teeth. Now, this is an adult child. This is permanent teeth that have gone. When they took the child to the hospital, you know how to replace teeth. Teeth now cost a lot of money. The sure. bill for replacing teeth was 1.3 million shillings. Mm. Okay? Then there is then there is what? He said, okay, let me, let me look for the man. Let me sign agreement here. Keep the logbook of the motorcycle. And boom, he went with the motorcycle. Within one week, they came and collected him with the policeman and the dealer. And they sold off the motorcycle. Oh, no. Sold off the motorcycle to raise the money to pay for the replacing. Not just to, to, to treat the child, but to even replace the teeth. Because there's a way they can replace them. And suddenly, a man was this thing that is supposed to take care of him. You know, this thing that is supposed to take care of him, take care of his family, gone. His livelihood gone. His income is gone. And 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 he's asking me now, Pastor, what am I going to do? You know? And then, I, you know, by the time you know it, the landlord is asking for you for money. You have not yet got another motorcycle to ride. And this was your motorcycle. Now you think of packing your things and going back to the village. In my tribe, we say you go back to the village and you speak English while weeding cassava. <laughs> And people wonder in the village, this man who is speaking so much English, why is he within cassava in the village? He should be in, in Kampala city. or in the city. You know? And all of a sudden, everything is, uh, you're back to square one. Oh, no. You know? Sometimes, you, where you are right now, some of you, where you are right now, you're probably just one mistake away from poverty. Oh, no. Uh, one mistake away from poverty. You know? Oh, no. Just one mistake away from poverty. God must help you. This is what the Bible is talking about here. He said that everything was eaten, left for nothing. And I read the scripture and I said, God, what is this? What kind of condition is this? What is this that can release this kind of condition in somebody else's life? That where somebody is up and all of a sudden they are what? Down. Down. And the Lord showed me a scripture in verse number 9 of the same chapter. Verse number 9. This is what the Bible says. And the Bible says, the meat offering... And that drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. Eh? Mm. And the Lord's ministers mourn. The field is wasted, the land is mourning. The corn is wasted, the new wine is dried up, and the oil languishes. That when there is no drink offering or meat offering in the house of God, people are bound to go through struggles in their life. You know? Somebody sent me a message the other day, said, Pastor, Pastor, I have a testimony. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, in our company, they downsized. All the managers, 50% of the managers were axed, were axed, you know, and half of the employees were told to go back home. Mm -hmm. Guess what? In the midst of that, they gave me promotion and increase of salary. Ooh. That even in the midst of trouble, mm -hmm. If there are people that know how to water the house of God, Amen. God will water your life. Hallelujah. Jesus. God will water your life. That even when you are in famine, you will not suffer the sunshine. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Mm. The Lord will watch over his own. He will watch over his remnant. He will watch over his people who have made a covenant with him by sacrifice. Amen. 
I pray you people that are uh, people that are listening to beauty of ashes. You are not ordained to suffer. You are not born again to suffer again. Mm. Never. You are not born again to suffer again. So what is glory? What is this glory of gold and silver that God wants to release upon the church? What is it about the meat offering and the drink offering that is important? Remember, remember that where that the heart of a man, where a man's treasure is, that's where his what? Heart is. And guess what? God wants your heart. People are wondering how God can know what is in my heart. God will know what you do and know what is in your heart. He will know what you do and he will know what is in your heart. I, 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 there is a scripture that I, I wanted to share to add on top of that. There's a scripture I wanted to add there. I believe that somebody is being blessed. Amen. I'm sorry, these days of technology, we cannot hear a man from nobody. We cannot say what, 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 what. Genesis chapter, chapter, chapter 4, verse number 3. I want to show you something about your offering. What your offering tells us. Mm -hmm about your life, about your spiritual life. Your offering cannot lie. Money test is a heart test. It cannot lie. Cannot lie. Mm -hmm. Someone say amen. Amen. It cannot lie. Genesis chapter 4 and verse number 3. Somebody is about to get out of poverty. Somebody is about to enter into the realm of the latter glory. Amen. 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 I may say somebody is about to enter into that realm of the latter glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Chapter 4, verse number 3. This is what the Bible says. Somebody remind me to read you a scripture. I've just, just got it in mind. Remind me to read a scripture in, 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 in Ezra. 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 Okay. Yes. And the Bible says, verse number 3, that when Abel and Cain brought an offering before the Lord, this is what the scripture says, and Adam knew his wife, and verse number 1, and she bare a son and called him Abel, verse number 2. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Uh -huh. In the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And verse number 4, and Abel also brought the firstlings of the flock and of the fat. Thereof, they describe the type of Abel offering that Abel brought. He brought the firstlings, the first fruit of the flock, and he brought the fat, not the lean, not the thin, not the blamed one, but the fat of thereof. Mm. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. He had respect. And but Cain, but Cain, verse number five, mm. but Cain. And to his offering, he had no respect. That means there are offerings that God don't respect. Wow. Not every offering God can respect. They are offering he don't respect. You know, in the Bible when they were, when Jesus was in the temple, people came and they were giving offering, giving offering, giving offering. And God, Jesus mentioned one lady, only one male lady was mentioned that gave an offering. A poor old white widow. She gave, the my Bible says, and she gave all that she had. And God had, Jesus had respect. I pray that somebody will give a respectful offering. Mm. An offering that honors God Amen. for what he has done in your life. Amen. You know? People stand up on pulpits and say, praise the Lord. God has blessed me. I just acquired a hundred acres of land. Yet you are testifying on a church that is renting property. The Lord, shame upon you, brother. Shame, shame. God have mercy upon you. You know? God have mercy upon you. <laughs> you know? The house of the Lord is renting. They have the microphone is making a lot of noise, but you are testifying. How you have bought a brand new car at 50 million shillings, no debt at all, but the microphone is saying, Quack, 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 quack. Good afternoon. Malabradaya Zadoya. No wonder car don't last. Don't last. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Verse 5. But the Bible says, But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. The Lord had no respect. Mm. And Cain was very angry. You know, it's the people that give little offering that are always angry. They are always complaining. Why are you complaining that, uh, you know, when the, when the lockdown started, people are like, yeah, you pastors, <laughs> you have been collecting tithe, collecting offering every time. Now we shall see how you will make it. 
Then they own the pastor bought a car. How did he buy a car in the middle of this COVID? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I said, glory to God. Amen. You know, I was telling people the other day, uh, I was talking to the Lord and I said, God, we need to start building again. And the Lord said, who told you to stop now? Ah. Oh, I no. said, you know, there was COVID and what? And you know the money, we need a lot of money. I said, when you started building, did you have all the money? I said, no. I said, well, well, who told you? I didn't tell you to stop. The next morning I said, let's start working now. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But the Lord, the Lord, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. So when we come to God, God look at our offering and say, look at this. L let me see his heart through his offering. Where is his heart? Because if you want to know, if you want to know where your heart is, we want to know where you put your money. That's why we know where your heart is. Where you put your money. Where unaweka pesa yako wapi? Which, which, which is thing eat your money a lot okay if you are uh, 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 which one is taking your heart that's why we know where your heart is mm. leave alone these things with people God have, has got so many people who have told him I love you I love you I love you Lord I love you Lord I love you Lord he has, he has even warned about he said don't be careful about those who say Lord 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 but their heart it's only their lips that are close to me, but their heart is far from me. If God knew everything, he would, he would tell you that I know you. you, are, you. But he said there are those who say, Lord, 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 Lord. But their heart, their heart is far from me. People must understand that the, the offering, the money, it is not a test of your, of your, of your money. It is not a test. A money test. Mm. It is a heart test. Hallelujah, Where is your heart? People are crying that everything is gone. Everything is finished. Everything is over. Look, look, look. What is your offering in the house of the Lord? In this thing, I thank God. I really thank God. In that, that in all things, we give God the glory. In mm. all things, Amen. we give God the glory. The people that have stayed faithful to God, who have stood by his house, who have watered his house and made sure there is meat and there is drink in the house of the Lord, God have watered their life. Amen. Amen. They have started new businesses. Amen. They have bought cars in the middle of this COVID. Amen. People have started businesses in the middle of COVID. Amen. You know? People have started consultancies and they, and, and they are signing checks in the middle of this COVID. What kind of God is this? That if you water my house, I'll water your life. Hallelujah. Bible says Isaac sold in the time of famine and he reaped a hundredfold, a hundredfold in famine. Amen. What is, are you crazy? In the middle of famine? Somebody's raping. This is crazy. This is this is the kind of God we serve. Amen. We don't walk by the economy here. No. We thank God for this economy. We don't walk by this economy. We walk by the economy of heaven. Amen. When it's when the heaven says yes, nobody can say no. Amen. Okay. The people, people, there's always this debate about, oh, do we tithe gross? Oh, do we tithe net? Oh, do we tithe what? Which one do you want? Do you want to, want to be under the government economy or you want to be above? Hallelujah. You choose which one you want. Because the moment you allow the government to take their money without you tithing it, you always be under. Hallelujah. You always be under. And government things take time. You know, they can take time. A mask will take two months. Radio will take I don't know how long. You can't wait for somebody to bring it to you. But God, but God, God wants you to operate above and what? Beyond. Amen. Above and beyond. Hallelujah. What's the scripture? I said Ezra. Ezra. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Did I write? I didn't write that one down. But the book of Ezra, I, I, I wrote something there. Book of Ezra. What is the scripture about? Uh, yeah, I, I, th- that was in my study this morning. Mm. Let, me, let me just check for it. I think in the book of Ezra, I'm opening there right now. You cannot see me opening, but I am opening there right now. Okay? Listen, I, 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 I read something that shocked me today. When, when, uh, when they were building the temple of God, I read the scripture in Haggai. Solomon built the God's temple in seven years. When it reached a time to rebuild that temple, it took a hundred years. Over a hundred years. And I was reading this this morning. And they, they even had a king's decree, but they could not build. King Cyrus decreed when they were in captivity. And he decreed and said, the Lord gave me a vision. There is a burden upon my heart. Israel chapter 1 and verse number 2. That said Cyrus, king of Persia. Hmm? Great king. And the Bible says, the Lord of God of heaven had given me all the kingdoms of the earth. And he had charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among you of all his people? His God will be with him and let him go to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel, which is in Jerusalem. So, and then in verse 7, he brought forth all the vessels of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and he put them in the house of his God, and put, uh, which he had put in the house of his God. I said, take what Nebuchadnezzar took from the temple of God, you take it. Take it and start building the house. Now, this was in the first year of King Cyrus. He was a king of Persia. The kings of Persia took over the Babylonians. The Babylonians had Nebuchadnezzar and I think another king. And then, and then the, uh, King Cyrus began. Hey, now King Cyrus ruled for 36 years. They had not built. Mm. Because there were people that came in between there, the Tobias and Sanballat. And they said, we want to build with you. And they said, no, we will not build with you. And the Bible says that those people slowed down the work by their counselings. Wow. Okay? So they came in and they said, want to build. So King Cyrus died. And he had ruled, I think, for 30 years. King Cyrus died. When he died, there came another king. Uh, I think he was called over, uh, uh, it was called Darius. Then Darius came in. And then, you know, they were king a bit slow there. He ruled for another 36 years. The temple was not yet built. They were like moving at slow pace. Okay? Listen to this. I'm going to show you something very amazing. That's another, that's 30 years. That's now 66 years. Then another king, that king died. Then there came another king called Ahusuerus, who was Xerxes. The other one also ruled, but the temple was not built. Then there is another day. Then after that man called Ahusuerus, this is in chapter 4 of Ezra, there was another king called Antaxaxis. He also came. When he came, the people of Israel said, no, we're going to build now. They began to build. When the moment they began to build, the governors where they are came and told them, who told you to start building? They wrote a letter to the king and said, these people, when they build Jerusalem, they have become a rebellious city. Stop them right, out, right away. When, what time am I stopping? In the next uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Are you sure? Mm. Um, okay. Wonderful. <laughs> and so he, he told them, write a letter. Stop them from building. And so the king stopped them from building. And they stopped building. And that king ruled for another 40 years. Then after him, there were, there were two kings. There was another king. There was another king called Sogdia. Then a king, a new king came. It was called King Darius. Now this is 100 years after King Cyrus had written a decree that they should build the house. A hundred years. Can you imagine? King Darius came. That was a time in chapter 6. A hundred years later. King Darius made a decree. And such was made in the house of, of, of Rolls. Where the treasures were laid. And said that that house must be built. When you read King Darius. When he began. It's the same time that Haggai began to prophesy. He began to prophesy. If you check in the book of Haggai, I know you're not, you're not, you're not, you're either moving or you're in the shop or whatever, or you're in whatever. But Haggai began to prophesy. And the Bible says in the second year of Darius, Haggai chapter 1, the king in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord to Haggai, 
the prophet unto Zerubbabel, and the son of Shilter, the governor of Judah, to Joshua, the son of Joseph, they said, build my house. And they began to build. And in four years, they finished the temple of God, what they had waited for a hundred years. And I asked God, what was the secret? Verse, chapter 6, verse 14 of Ezra. Chapter 6, verse 14 of Ezra. This is what the Bible says. And the elders of Jews builded and they prospered. Prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they builded and finished according to the commandment of the Lord of God of Israel. And according to the commandment of Cyrus, Darius and Dataxes the king of Persia. And their house was finished on the third day of the month, which was the sixth year of the reign of Darius. They were given everything, but they still could not do it. That's why we thank God for a prophetic voice. Beautiful ashes is a prophetic voice. Whatever has taken years, 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 God will go do it this year in the name of Jesus. in Jesus' name. These men took a hundred years, even with the decree of the king. It's like when the, 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 the house of God was pulled down in Endeavor. The king, the president says, I will build it. We will build it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then people wait another hundred years. 2021, 20. Then they say, oh my God, the king made a decree a hundred years ago. Oh God, what is that? Even with the king's decree, we thank God for kings, but we thank God for prophetic voice. Amen. We thank God for prophetic voice because it causes what has been delayed for many years Amen. to be restored. Amen. And we thank God for prophetic voice. You know what prophetic voice does? The Bible says that I will restore the years the Kankawa has eaten. After mm -hmm. all, when the meat offering comes back, this was a better scripture, which was about said that what the kankawa has eaten, what the pama was eaten, what the, what the caterpillar has eaten. Mm -hmm. Now God says, I will restore the years mm -hmm. the kankawa has eaten, mm -hmm. the pama has eaten. The I will restore not what you lost, but the years. Amen. Amen. He didn't restore the things they lost, the money they lost. He restored the time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mama Koto Loba die. Don't think you are growing too old. No, 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 no. God will restore your years. Amen. Hey, Mazika Bradosh. Hallelujah. Amen. God will restore the years. People, you'll be 60 years old. People think you are 35 years old. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you will run, run faster than young men. Hey, Eight years old. You know, Moses was 80. In the twilight of his years, the end of days, should be thinking about retirement. Meets God on the mountain and God says, pick up the road, take to go to, to, go to Egypt and deliver my people. Amen. And the Bible says his eyes were sharp. He had not lost any of his teeth and his eyes were sharp. Amen. Hey, I pray that God will restore somebody's years in the name of in Jesus. Jesus name. The years which were eaten by the caterpillar. Amen. The years which were eaten by the locust. Amen. The years which were eaten by the pamawam. The years which were eaten by corona. Amen. The years which were eaten by COVID. Amen. The years which were eaten by that stupid boyfriend. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God restore your years. Amen. That what was supposed to have taken 10 years, God will cause you to do it this year. Amen. That is your portion. It shall be and not otherwise in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you walk in it. I decree and declare over your life. May God bring acceleration. Amen. Acceleration. Acceleration Amen. into your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If you have been faithful. If you have brought your meat offering in the house of God. If you have brought your drink offering in the house of God. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I don't know what you are praying for. But God will bring it. Even before this year is over, Amen. you will testify. Amen. Somebody is about to testify a testimony that they have never seen in their life. Amen. What no eye has seen, Hallelujah. what no ear has heard, Hallelujah. is what God is about to do in your life. Amen. 
what are not even entered into the mind of a man is what God is about to release Amen. and do in your life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree that as a high priest of God, that stand in the place of God, in the name of Jesus, it shall be so in your life and not otherwise. Amen. Young ladies who are listening to me, it's better you stay single than marry a witch or marry a devil. Don't worry about your age. Age is time and God can buy time back. God can buy time back. Are you talking about my God? No, this is my God. He can restore time. He said, I will restore the time, the years that were eaten. Amen. He will restore those years. Amen. It shall be your portion. Amen. You shall walk in it. Amen. I decree and declare. Yes. Like they built the house, they waited for 100 years. When they began to prophesy, mm. within four years, they had finished, even did it faster than Solomon built. And yet Solomon had silver like stones in Jerusalem, but they built it faster, faster Amen. than he did. And they prospered because of the prophesy. I decree and declare that over your life. Somebody walk in that new dimension, the dimension, the glory of gold and silver, that your voice will be heard, that when you speak, people want to hear you. Amen. People want to listen to you. Amen. There was somebody in our family, when he gave his life to Jesus, People, everybody said, even me, I want to give my life to you. If wow. so and so is born again, I want to. Wow. I want to. That's what God is going to do in your life. Amen. The Bible says, I read a scripture the other day. The Bible says that there will be a differentiation between those that serve God mm -hmm. and those that don't. Yes. There will be a differentiation because those that love God and serve him and water this house and those that serve other gods god is going to mark that difference in your life Amen. be blessed prosper increase never going down but rising go from glory to glory the grace of god comes upon you the hand of god comes upon you in the name of jesus and they told me that you are buying property in 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 wakiso Kakiri. Kakiri is like a prayer center. Yeah, and uh, a camping site. A camping site. It shall be. It shall not fail in the name of Jesus. I receive. It shall be. And I will not come back here until it is done. Oh and I'm coming back here very soon before this year is over in Jesus' name. And uh, we are believing God by the end of these 30 days of great power and glory would have finished buying our camping site. Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm. Glory, 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 mm. glory, mm. glory, 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 glory. I'll, be, I'll, 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 I'll bring a seed of 500,000. Thank you. Thank you. 500,000. Thank you, man of God. The glory of God will must come. Amen. 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 Today, with your financial support, you're helping Beautiful Ashes International Ministries reach out to those in need with more partners there is a bountiful harvest. Give today on 0752-044-636 or 0776-044-636 or make a pledge. Beauty for Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation. We welcome you every Friday for an online high-voltage prayer night from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. 10 p.m. with Pastor Ben Ochola and at 11 p.m. with Pastor Stella Azamadia. And on Sundays, don't miss our Sunday Breakfast Live at 10 a.m. with Stella, all live on our Facebook page, Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia. Beautiful Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation. Thank you, wonderful people, for staying around. Now it is your moment to do something in the house of the Lord. With your finances, the giving lines are 776 636 or 752 God blessed us with an acre for free for our camping site. We are believing God that in these 30 days of great power and glory, we would have finished paying for our camping site, the other acre as well. In the name of Jesus, Pastor Otim, thank you so much. 
thank you for uh, for for giving us the 500,000 we appreciate you could also become a partner today say beautiful ashes needs a camping side those are the numbers i see here Bob already given i see gibas 20,000 shillings I see Tracy a hundred thousand shillings. God bless you. I see five thousand shillings that is Asumpta. God bless you. Four thousand five hundred shillings that is Kamia. God bless you. Thank you so much. Five thousand shillings that is Ivan. God bless you. One thousand nine hundred shillings that is Pamela. God bless you. Five thousand shillings that is Ogwen. God bless you. We are waiting. Five thousand shillings that is uh, Muwonge. God bless you, Muwonge. Five thousand shillings that is. Um, Janice, God bless you. 5,000 shillings, that is Jessica. God bless you. 5,000 shillings, that is Marvin. Uh, 1,000 shillings, that is peace. We are waiting for more people to partner with the work of God this afternoon. Yes, we'd like to hear from you, my pa Pastor Arthur. You know, Pastor Arthur, I've known him for years. When I went to his uh, church, when did I come? This year? Yeah, it was this year, yes. I was I think it was in March, yes. I was surprised. You're doing a great work that, that, that side. Oh, we thank God. <laughs> We thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we bless God. And when you say in this season of COVID, you've started construction. You've continued mm. to construct. Yes. I give glory to God for glory that. To God, yes. you, you are waiting for more kingdom finances this wonderful afternoon. You could be out and say, I also want to be in that room of Pastor Arthur, giving my 500,000 giving my maybe you can even give more giving my five million my 10 million plus my dollars for the glory of god do something in the house of the lord in Jesus' name we've received here dorothy five thousand shillings pastor arthur will decree and declare when all is done in Jesus' name use of two thousand <laughs> give us twenty thousand shillings god bless you god bless you we have um brenda ten thousand shillings god bless you brenda 20,000 shillings, Gladys, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The giving lines are 0776 044 0776 044 636 or 0752 636. Pastor Arthur, I feel there are some pastors who are listening in today mm. and maybe they are just renting buildings. They need to do something. As you are doing something, mm. giving for this camping site, God is also going to give you your own land yes. in Jesus. Jesus' name. Yes. Some have struggled to even get a 50 by 100 or they are even renting mm -hmm. land. Pastor, the, please, talk, please say something. Listen, the key, the kingdom of God is about seed. Everything is yes. about seed. Yes. This is what the Bible says. That He said the kingdom of God is like a man that sowed good seed. Amen. That's what the kingdom of God Amen. is about. Amen. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. Amen. This is what the kingdom of God is all like. That whatever you put in, mm -hmm. that's what you're going to get out. Amen. Whatever you make happen Amen. for others, God will make it happen for you. Amen. Become a miracle in somebody else's life. There's Amen. some miracle you are believing God for. Become that in somebody else's life. Amen. You will see the hand of God. Amen. I mean, we are believing God to roof the church. But when I hear a pastor is roofing a church, I send my seed. Hallelujah, I Jesus. send my seed. Hallelujah, I send my seed because I'm believing God for a roof. Mm -hmm. I'm believing God for 200 million to roof the church. Hallelujah, so I'm Jesus. believing God for a roof. So I sow my seed mm -hmm. in my small way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, someone maybe say, I need a hundred iron sheets. I say, I'll send you ten iron sheets. Mm -hmm. I become a miracle in someone else. For the miracle I am believing, do unto others what you like them to do unto you. Amen. That is a kingdom. And I, I pray the pastors who are watching, men of God who are heading ministries, you head a household. Live alone when you're just moving around. You head a household, mm -hmm. a ministry. Mm -hmm. You have an office of a pastor. You mm -hmm. sit in an office. Not just a, 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 a moving pastor, but a, a office. You sit in an office. You got bills to pay you got things to clear you got people need to know that you're going somewhere mm. you don't want to be in a famine during this time mm. let me tell you child of god this is the key make it happen for beauty of ashes mm. god will wipe your tears amen god will release a miracle in your life amen you'll be amazed how money will come to you thank you Jesus. there is i cannot explain this principle mm. more than anything mm -hmm. else mm. and everybody that has sold as you are watering god's house mm. you're making sure there is meat offering and there is drink offering amen. let me tell you the kankawam will not come near you Hallelujah, in the name Jesus. of jesus the palma one will not come near you I remember a testimony of a young lady, a lady at a family at a church. 
and 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 uh, the, the husband just before the COVID, mm -hmm. the husband fell sick and they took him to the hospital. They couldn't mm. tell what it was, and the money which they had saved to take them through that season, all of it was gone in treatment of the family of the husband. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering what to do. But while they were in the hospital, mm -hmm. the Lord gave an idea and said, mm -hmm. "My daughter, do you know what you're going to do? You are going to start printing test papers mm -hmm. and revision books, mm -hmm. revision, you know, like children are at home." Mm -hmm print those and give them to people. And she began to do it. Within two weeks, she made a million shillings. Wow. Two weeks. Let me tell you, there is an idea that is waiting there for your seat. There mm -hmm. is an idea. Because the Bible says, when you offer, when you give to God, God opens the windows of heaven Amen. and pours out a blessing. That Amen. means ideas are coming. Amen. Favor is coming. Amen. New ideas are coming. Amen. Pointers are coming. Amen. Things you never thought that money could come from, mm -hmm. they begin to come to you. Hallelujah, you begin Jesus. to understand the concepts and things. Let me tell you, if you are if you are in a problem, if you are not a giver or a tither or anybody, you even receive wrong counsel. Mm, true. Wrong counsel becomes your portion. Your food are not ordered by God. People who are supposed to advise you well they advise you badly mm. you make losses people come to me and say pastor i put 20 million i opened a saloon i said ah and the people that came to the saloon told me that you must pay a salary mm -hmm. eh? we are the ones going to bring the people mm -hmm. the people come they start working you are paying them a salary even if they don't work mm. i said who gave you that counsel you mean you do not know that that's how that business works mm -hmm. and 20 30 million was gone like this and she was crying in my office Mm -hmm. Let me let's honor God. When you honor God, God releases a miracle. Amen. God releases a miracle. And God is releasing miracles in people's lives. Let me Amen. tell you, in the middle of this COVID, you go get a job now. Amen. You go get promotion now. Amen. People, we are being established and confirmed at the places of work in this middle of COVID. Mm, 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 mm. Someone came to me the other day and said, Pastor, <coughs> people who are faithful to God. Let me tell you, if you're faithful to God, the prophetic word work fast. Amen. Let me tell you, Pastor, the, the prophetic word is not subjective. It is not conclusive. Mm. It is not everything. It is conditional to somebody that will obey God. Even if I tell you that you are going to be a millionaire and you don't do nothing about it, you don't sow, you don't work, you don't give, you don't serve, you don't do nothing, mm. you will call me a false prophet for nothing, but it won't come to pass in your life. That's right. The prophetic word is conditional. That's true. People want to hear, say, oh, God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Do you know where Paul used to, to speak that scripture? Mm. Because they had supplied according to his need. Child of God, let those messages continue coming. Amen. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will favor you. Amen. You will walk under open heaven. You will see the grace of God. You will see the daily. God will bring bonuses that are coming from nowhere. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that over your life, that if somebody will obey God and walk by faith and sow their seed, may you walk in uncommon favor. This week, in this next seven days, may a miracle encounter you that will change your entire destiny. In Jesus' name. That your name. story will change. Amen. Your life will change Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the giving lines are 776 Zero four four six three six zero seven seven six zero four four six three six or zero seven five two zero four four six three six. Pastor Arthur, in this lockdown, I think something like two weeks ago, eleven two weeks mm. ago, two weeks ago. Uh, it's, this is the third week. Two weeks ago, as I was, I think three weeks ago, it's two. This is mm. the third week. Mm. As I was praying, the Holy Spirit showed me a land. Mm. I saw a land without neighbors. It was viewing a slightly sloppy hill, and below it was uh, was a stream. Mm. And I was led to one of the members to ask them about him, about his land. Mm. He first took me to a land that did not have all those details. Mm. And I asked him, do you have a land that has a stream? And he took me to that land that has the stream mm. without neighbors, and it was viewing a slightly sloppy hill. He wasn't selling the land, mm. and he decided to sell us the land. Wow. Wow, wow. That's just, God. Just like that. That's God. Just like that in this season of lockdown. Mm. And so we are having that land. Along the way, last week, we were there. He gave us an acre of land for free. Glory, 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 glory. And we took our first deposit. Praise the Lord. And I believe even in this season, God is is visiting people in such a timely way. Mm. And mm. people were hearkening to his instruction instantly. 
Mm. Instantly, mm. instantly, he's going to do something in your life. Some of you can even sow a million shillings. Yes. You can do it for the glory of the Lord in this wonderful moment. Just send us an SMS on 0776 044 636. 0776 044 636 or 0752 044 636. You know, if somebody comes and they say they have made a loss of 30 million shillings mm. and the Lord maybe could have asked them earlier on, can you just give me a million shillings? Yes. Can, I, can you just give me two million shillings? And the person has hesitated. Mm-hmm. Each time we don't respond to what the Lord is telling us to do, it's like that the devourer is just coming in and destroying. The devourer has permission. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 he, he has mm. permission to destroy what yes. belongs to us. That's so right. let's do something. We just have four more minutes to go, but I believe you've got the numbers. The people who have sent their money here, the, okay, of Fiona, we've received your 10,000. God bless you. Joseph, 5,000. Samuel, 5,000. Let's take it to another level. 3,000 shillings. That is uh, Togume, 7,000 shillings. That is um, Daphne, 5,000 shillings. That is Abuoli. God bless you. 20,000 shillings. No name here. God bless you. God bless each and everybody that is giving. We have 14,000 shillings. That is uh, Ndagide. Ndagide Aza. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 shillings. That is Akelo. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor, Pastor Arthur, please pray for these people. Yes. And those who are going to give. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, we Lord. thank you for those that are sowing their seed. Yes, Lord. For increase, for mm. favor, mm. as they are putting for the house of God, for the Amen. camping center, yes. where many lives will be impacted. Yes, Lord. Lord, as they are brought to drink offering and meat offering into your house, yes. Lord, I decree that no kankawam or mm. pamawam mm. or any worm mm. will come near their dwelling yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Mm. Every devourer, every waster, every attack of the enemy yes, against their life, spirit of poverty, lack and failure, I decree and declare it off their property, loose their property and their life in the name of Jesus. I decree that somebody is about to walk in a new dimension in their life. Yes. Somebody is about to walk on a under open heaven. Mm. Somebody is going to a new level in, in their life. Name. Lord, I decree that in the next seven days, mm. somebody will testify yes, Lord. What, the, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard mm. is what God is about to release. Is releasing his upon somebody tonight in the name of just no sickness, no wastage, mm. no disease, no mm. infirmity, no power of the enemy shall prevail yes. against their life. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree wealth, gold, silver to be their portion in the name of Jesus, may the glory of the latter house be seen upon their house, be seen upon their life. Let there be a marked difference between those that love God, serve Him, and give to Him than those that don't love Him, don't walk with Him, and don't serve Him at all. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you because you do it. You cause their, shine, their face to shine forth with the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory, to Amen. God. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Pastor Arthur. Team, we've been blessed mm. by you this wonderful afternoon. Those of you who are listening in from wherever and you're going to give off air, you can still save these numbers 0776 044 636. 0776 044 636 or 0752 044 636. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for having stayed around. Catch you online tonight on our Facebook page that is Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia. That is uh, from 10 up to midnight when we have the high voltage prayer session. Pastor Arthur, tell, me, tell us about your online programs. Oh, we have a program or you can get me on my, on my page. Mm-hmm. Get me on my page, Miracle Life Ministries or Arthur Team Ministries. Yes. Or just go look for Arthur Team mm. on... Uh, on um, on, uh, on Facebook. Yes. Then those who I do have a WhatsApp prayer altar that mm. I send messages, audio messages mm. every day. Mm. You can WhatsApp me on 706 mm. 450 mm. mm. Or if you don't remember the numbers I've read, you ask uh, <laughs> a Stella. Reverend Stella to, <laughs> to send you my number. Yeah. And it, then, it, then I will add you and you'll be receiving my audio messages amen, that are blessing. I call amen. it five minutes of inspiration in the morning. Amen. Yes. Amen. God bless you wonderful people. See 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 wonderful people.